Hey, welcome back to Dimension Quest. I'm going to do another quick and short, very simple install of Alma Linux 9.4 on my MacBook Pro running Apple Silicon. Now I am running Fusion 13.5.1. So I've got that loaded up here. I've downloaded the Alma Linux 9.4 AARCH64 minimal ISO to do a really, really basic install. I just want to make sure that I can do a quick install on this and not have to do anything special in order to boot the VM up. All right, in the early versions of Fusion, we did have to do some minor manipulations of boot parameters in order to get some variants of Linux installed. So let's see if this runs cleanly. So we'll go up here and we'll click on plus, new. We'll install from disk or image and we'll click continue. Now, let me just jump back over to Finder and I will use another disk or image. There we go. And we'll select Alma right there. Now, note that the download is in the ISO format. So, we'll click Open. And we'll make sure that's selected and click Continue. Now, this time, since I'm just doing a really basic check, I'll leave the default with two CPU cores, two gig of memory, and a 20 gig drive. Click Finish, Save, and I will move this over to cover the other window there. All right, so I don't want to test. I just want to install, so I'll select that and hit Enter. Oh, let's adjust this window again. There we go. Okay, we have a graphical installer here. Now it has detected that I am currently in Korea, so it's defaulted to Korean. I do want to switch that over to English though. And we'll stick with English United States. Click on continue. All right, so we need to address anything that has red in there. So installation destinations, click on that one first. Select disk. And automatic, done. There we go, that looks better. Automatic partitioning selected. Now let's set our root password. Okay, allow root SSH login with password. Now I normally wouldn't do this for any kind of production system, but since this is just a quick test to make sure that all the Linux 9.4 will run under VMware Fusion on Apple Silicon. I will go ahead and allow that. Click done. And click done again. Okay, and let's go ahead and create a user as well. We'll go ahead and select make this user administrator. That'll put them in the wheel group. And we will click done and done again. It's because I'm using a relatively simple password, I think. All right, we don't have any more red warnings here. So we'll just click on begin installation. Okay, excellent. The install is complete, so we'll go ahead and click on Reboot System. Here. All right, so it's booted back up. It's got the localhost login there, so I'm going to just click into the window and hit Enter. Now let's try logging in as root. Okay, this is looking good. Let's check here. All right, do I have an address? I sure do, it's 110.133. Let's see here, um, what is this? This is Alma Linux, right? I don't use Alma very often, so I'm not sure if that's the right command, hopefully it is. 
Let's make sure that we get our open SSH server installed. Okay, it is already installed. So let's pull over our terminal window and see if we can get connected to that. Okay. And let's go ahead and resize the window a bit. Increase our prompt size. And let's see here, let's try to SSH as dimension quest. 172.16, 110. Where was that? Oh, there it is, 133. Accept the fingerprint, put in our password. Okay. It looks like there's not anything major that we need to do in order to get Alma Linux 9.4 to boot and operate properly on our Apple Silicon with VMware Fusion 13.5.1. Okay, like I said, this was just a quick and simple, does it work? Simple, basic install of Alma Linux. This wraps up the Alma Linux 9.4 video. So thank you for watching and have a great day.